Hey everyone, Krista Moser here, designer of the Creative Grid 60 Degree Diamond Ruler and its new little sibling, the 60 Degree Diamond Mini Ruler. It's a four and a half inch diamond with a lot of possibilities, including all the cuts to make the quilt behind me. This is one of my latest patterns, Bumblebee Blossoms. And what I'm going to show you is everything used to make this quilt can be done with this one ruler. So what we have here, triangle cuts that we can do from four and a half to one and a half. You see here, diamond cuts from one and a half to four and a half here. We've got some hexagon cuts coming in from the side. So one and a half up to four and a half inch hexagons. And then if you use the ruler to cut this way, you'll get parallelograms from one and a half to four and a half. Or trapezoids, we have strips cut from the middle section. Trapezoids. So for a little ruler, it's got a lot of possibilities. Let's get started. For the leaf blocks, I'm going to use a three and a half inch strip and cut three and a half inch diamond. So I'm going to trim my end off, lining up the ruler with the edge of the strip. I'm going to trim my end off here. I've got my three and a half inch line and the edge of the ruler here. Now I've got my cut, my first cut. Moving on, I can now line up my three and a half inch diamond line with my fresh cut end. And I'm going to take that flat tip and remove the little, the little piece of fabric. That will make it a lot easier to get piecing accuracy during assembly. And then moving it down. These are going to be used for the leaf blocks. One more cut. A couple of leaves. So the background from these leaves is also cut from a three and a half inch strip here. Just got my background white. Now these are triangles. And from here, I'm gonna lay the ruler down. I've got my three and a half inch triangle edge and the flat tip on the other side. And I'm just gonna cut here and here. And that gets me three and a half inch triangles. And the nice thing about these is it's already got a flat tip. Now to get a second set of triangles, I'll just turn the ruler. I've got my three and a half inch line against the other edge. And trim. And here I have a leaf and two triangles. And that creates a larger triangle unit or a leaf block. Now because I talked about that flat tip, this is going to be really, really key. When you go to piece, that flat tip gives you your perfect matchup point. So your quarter inch is always accurate. Let me show you some, some cuts from the flower fabrics. Here we have two strips sewn together. This equals four and a half across. And what I'm going to use is my triangle lines down the middle here, a four and a half inch line. and I can cut my little corner off there. The other side, same story. Now, the triangle has three flat tips. Turn the ruler, a four and a half inch line. And get my little tips off. another triangle with three flat tips. You take these triangles and you'll put them together. Six of them creates the center of the flower. Get their outside edge pieces. Got some darker strips here. We're going to do trapezoids from this one. So where I'm lining it up, the four and a half inch triangle line across the bottom, the two inch starburr line across the top, just going to cut here and here and there again. Anytime I can remove those little flat tips that helps with the piecing, there's a trapezoid. Get the reverse of it. Lining up my four and a half inch line. The 
get my tips off. So these two trapezoids, these two triangles, this creates the scalloped edge around that flower. Here I've got six of them sewn together with their background blocks. And this gets a whole bloom. Some of the other things that we can do, like the background cuts. Here I have a background white strip. I'm just going to use the end of the ruler to trim it off at a 60 degree angle. Just like that. That gets me started. Here I am in the two and a half inch diamond bracket to get some of my background pieces. Flat tip. Two and a half inch triangles. That's already got its flat tip. If I wanted to do a parallelogram from this, then I would just take the ruler this way. This gets me a four and a half inch parallelogram. That's used in one of the B blocks. Go this way, where I can, the flat tip. This will give me two mirror image parallel. Just like that. Talk about versatile. There you go. Oh, and one more thing. Don't forget, all Creative Grids rulers have the grip on the back side. It's manufactured that way, so they don't slide around, which makes cutting angles really easy.